Okay, so today we will discuss means just continue the binary search data structure. Ah, uh, not just the binary tree. Wait, let me just share the screen first. <coughs> Okay, so today we will learn about the binary search. I guess in last class I have already gave you a, an overview how binary tree data structure works. So binary tree is just a special type of tree. Normally all the tree data structure a collection of nodes and edges. Correct? <coughs> so in a general tree there can be more than two children or one, two, three, four, anything. But for the binary tree, uh, they can have at most two children. The name is the binary because binary means two. Okay. So any binary tree can be just think about like three design subsets. One is the root node. Root node you can think about like the parent or grandparent or our ancestor anything. So whenever we talk about the tree, let's think about the family tree. <coughs> So three subsets will be like the root node, the origin of the tree, then will come the left subtree and the right subtree. Okay. So again, when you consider the left subtree, this is the left subtree. In this case, again, you are going to follow the same method. Okay. If this is the left subtree, again, you are going to follow the root, left child and right child. Okay. So this is the basic structure of a binary tree which can have at most two children now binary tree there are different types of binary tree <coughs> we'll just see all of them one by one so what is full binary tree okay so full binary tree is just that the nodes nodes or the parents can have either two or no children okay no in between it cannot have one child, okay? Either hamdo hamare do or just hamdo, okay? Either two or no children. So in our uh, like competitive exam, there are lots of questions come from the tree data structure, okay? Uh, mostly from the binary tree, and most of the time they just ask about the uh, uh, height of the tree and all. Okay, can you tell me uh, how to find the height of a tree? Last class I discuss that how to find height of the tree we need to count the uh, nodes uh, no oh, uh, st stick branches uh, yes means how th that's correct how to find the height what is the height of this tree Three. Yes, correct. So height, how you are going to find it? You just need to find the longest part from the root to the leaf node. That's your height. Okay. Always follow the longest part. That means we are just going to count the edges from the root node to the leaf node at the deepest level. Okay. There are different leaves. Here is one leaf and there is one leaf at this level but you are going to just count the longest root from the root node to the deepest node. <coughs> deepest leaf node. Okay, so there are certain formulas which you need to understand or at least remember. Okay, suppose n is the number of nodes. So a full binary tree can have at least n, that means number of nodes equal to 2 power h 8 
h means your height minus 1 okay what is the number of nodes here what the height 3 correct 2 power 3 what is 2 power 3 2 power 3 8 yes correct so 8 minus 1 7 Right, so now you found the number of nodes here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is one of the formula. If the height is given, you can count the total number of nodes in a full binary tree. Okay, that's the at least. Okay, but the at most it can have 2h plus 1 minus 1. Okay, that is here is the least one. I haven't drawn is. Okay, okay, no problem. So at least 2 power h minus 1 or h plus 1 minus 1. Height is the, uh, 3, 3 plus 1, 4. That means 2 power 4 minus 1 is the at most. See here you can see the right subtree is empty. There can be more ch children, correct? <coughs> so at least 2 h minus 1 and at most and h plus 1 minus 1. Okay, now suppose in exam Hello. Okay, so this formula will work when your height of the tree is given. Now suppose I'm telling you the number of leaves node are given. Okay, so if you have L is the leaf node uh, and capital L is the internal node, how can you calculate the leaf nodes? It will be L plus 1. So how many leaf nodes here in this tree? How many leaf nodes here? In this tree, six. No, I'm asking leaf node. Leaf node means what are the leaves? Are you saying number 6 is the leaf node or you are saying total number is 6? The question is how many leaf nodes are there in this tree? You can just see the tree. Yes, total number of leaves. How many? Answer. Leaf means what? I didn't get the point. I'm asking how many leaf nodes are there in this tree? Anyone, how many leaf nodes are there? Oh, yes, correct. There are four leaf nodes. One is this one, one is this one, and this one, and this total one, two, three, four leaf nodes are there. 
what is leaf node leaf means there is no child or there are no children okay this guy he but chani yoga those are leaf nodes okay those will be the end root node and parents means whenever a node will have one or more than one one or two children that means it's a parent if there's no children then those are known as leaf nodes so total there are one two three four four leaf nodes that means how can you collect suppose i'm telling you there are three internal nodes so there are see this is your internal nodes okay this is your internet your root is internal nodes this is your internal nodes and this is your internal nodes so there are three internal nodes so i'm i'm giving you the count that there are three internal nodes now you can tell me how many leaf nodes are there so the formula is leaf node will be total number of internal nodes plus 1 so 3 plus 1 four see okay, here there are four leaf nodes okay so this is full binary tree when your means each node has either two or no children okay so i'm just giving okay, okay. so in the slides i have also given the, all the formulas uh, i'll share the slides later because this you know, formulas are very important when you are going to give like competitive exam in those exams they just give you the number of leaves or nodes and internal nodes or the depth then you need to calculate the things <laughs> so this is the same uh, energy so number of leaves you can say i is the internal nodes the number of leaves will be internal nodes plus 1 and total number of nodes will be twice i plus 1 so how many internal nodes are here 3 3 2 2 6 plus 1 7 right and you can see there are seven number of nodes in this tree okay then again number of internal nodes the formula is n minus 1 divided by 2 and means the total number of nodes so if i'm telling you there are seven nodes in a tree now you have to calculate the number of internal nodes the formula is here so total number of nodes 7 7 minus 1 is 6 6 divided by 2 3 so three internal nodes okay so so on so this formulas will be very useful for you whenever you guys going to give your competitive exam in future and even in class also it's very important okay just go through this formulas is it clear till now you can see the formula and you can just check whether it's correct or not you can just compare with this tree and the formulas and number of leaves another formula is total number of leaves is 7 plus 1 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 so it can be like different parameters are given like i can tell you there are n number of nodes or n number of internal nodes then you have to calculate the leaves and all so depending on the parameters the questions can be different so for that you have to remember this formulas okay so next is the complete binary tree so what is complete binary tree it's just like your a uh, full binary tree just that all the levels are completely filled except the lowest one and it will always fill from the left okay so the difference between your full binary tree and complete binary is that the last leaf element might not have the right children or sibling and a complete binary tree does not have to be a full binary tree and all the leaves must lean towards left so this one thing to remember your complete binary tree will be uh, skewed towards the left side okay
So it's just like your binary key, your normal key, binary key. Yes, it's uh, it's Q towards left. Okay, let me show you example here. Tell me, is it a full binary key or a complete binary key? Full or complete? <laughs> Remember, for the full binary key, your node can have either two or none and for complete it has to be skewed towards the left so no. full okay others can you pass it full others Complete, I'm going to say complete, complete, and previous topic. Previous topic means okay, it's neither full nor complete, none of them. Left side has pairs mm. complete. No, it's neither. Neither full nor complete. Why? Your condition for full binary tree is what? Your node should have either two or no children. In this tree node, it has one child, which is just violating the condition for the full. Correct? This was about the complete binary tree. Yeah, no. okay, but it's not complete binary tree. Why? Because it's in the right side. Your condition for full is that it has to be skewed towards left side, and for the full, the condition is two or none. Okay, either two children or none, but in this case, it has one child. And which is violating full. And again, it is moving towards the right side, which is again violating the condition for complete tree. So it's neither. Is it clear? Is it clear why it's neither full nor? Okay. Okay, now tell me what is this? Full or complete? Okay. <coughs> okay, you say full. Others. None of two. Others. Full or complete? Deepa said full. Dula said none.
others don't know. See the condition is already written here. Now just think about a condition. Cool. It will say cool. What happened to others? Part of question ki hai. Full ne complete. Shekhar, Tanmay, Yogesh, Saran Chatri, Imam Len, Iba, Kiranjit, Lexi. Why only like only three or four students give answers? Yogesh to Vasi will lagaki chala jata na? Usko lasa jane se to response ni madla ki just on karte fi pata nahi ka gum ka jata hai. Haan, kal kal Yogesh Yogesh hum log bula rahe the. Unka response ni kya? Kya answer? Full or complete? Dula is always right. Nay. It's it's full. Okay, it's full tree. Why it's full? Because it's satisfying all the condition. Would would this one has two children again? Two does not have any child or any children. So none, its condition is two or none. And again for three, it has two children, right? So it's just satisfying the condition for two or none, which is condition for full binary. It's not complete because it's skewed towards right side. And the condition for complete tree is that it should be in the left side. Okay, is it clear? Is it clear why it's full? Can you explain the complete binary tree again? Okay, complete binary is just your full binary tree. Just that it does not satisfy the condition two or none. Your full binary tree is like strict one. Either it can, a uh, note can have two or no children and your complete tree is like it can have maximum of two children. That means even if it has one child, it's okay for the complete binary tree. And the main condition is it will skew towards the left side. Means your left side should not be empty. Okay. It cannot go towards the right side. Your left side should be filled first. So for complete, it can have 0, 1 or 2. So maximum 2 children is allowed because it's a binary tree, right? But even if it has a 1 child, then it's also fine. Okay? But for the full, it's like strict 1, either 2 or none. 2 means 2 or none means baki complete binary you can think of China. Two or less than two. So for the full you can see it's like a proper one. Proper binary either two children or no. And for the complete one 
the condition is it can have maximum two children but it's fine it has just one child and again it have to be towards the left okay that's the condition okay now again tell me what is this full or complete ma'am ma'am maybe complete okay maybe okay <coughs> main difference kya hai full or complete abhi main batai this explain kiya So it's a full or complete. Just remember the properties. It's a complete binary tree. Why? Because it's skewed towards the left side. Okay, if I draw it here, then it's not. Why? Because it's skewed towards the right side. Means right, left side empty. Who is it? Right? For a complete binary tree, it always should have a child or children in the left side, not the right side. And it's not full. Why? Because this two node has only one child. For full, the condition is two or none. Just remember that. For full, two or none. And for the complete, at max two, and it has to be towards the left side. Okay. It's okay. You will get it slowly. Okay. Now tell me what's this one now. Full or complete? This one. Yes, correct. Device correct. It's both, both full and complete. It's satisfying the condition two and none. All the nodes have either two or none. This one has two children. This root node has two children. Again, three does not have any child or children. Then again, it's skewed towards the left side, so it's complete. So this tree is both full and complete. it will take some time you have to do the self study as well then other types is the perfect binary okay the, the differences are very very like small one so always need to Okay, next is your perfect binary tree. What is bin perfect binary tree? Perfect binary tree means every internal node has exactly two child nodes, and all the leaf nodes are at the same level. Okay, so main condition here is every internal node has exactly two child nodes. And all leaf nodes are at the same level. Remember, in case of complete and full binary tree, 
it was not important that all leaf nodes will be at the same level. For the full binary tree, condition was either two or none. And for the complete binary tree, it can have maximum two, it can have one child two. But in case of perfect binary tree, like the ideal one, all the nodes will have exactly two and all the leaf nodes will be at the same level. So here you can see this A node has two children, two and three. Again, this node has two children, four and five. Again, this node has a two children, six and seven. That means it's like a perfect binary tree. And all leaf nodes are at the same level. Okay, so for perfectly full binary tree, you can say it's also perfectly full. Again, it has certain uh, formulas. If you need to find the number of leaf nodes, you can just find power h. h means height. So what's the height of this tree? Height of this tree. Yes, correct. So, 2 power h, 2 power 2, 4. So, there are 4 leaf nodes. Okay. Then again, number of non leaf nodes, 2 power h minus 1. So, it's 4 minus 1, 3. So, you can see number of non leaf nodes or the internal nodes is 1, 2, and 3. Correct. Right? And again, total number of nodes. It has two two formula. Either it can, I can tell you that there are four number of leaves. If I give you the L equal to four, you can use this equation twice L minus one. So equation number of nodes will be L into two, eight minus one, seven nodes. Right? And again, I can tell you the height of the tree is two. Then you can use this formula. Two plus one, three. Two power three, six minus one. Is it clear? Everyone? So condition will be like for full Note value for new L means small L means the leaf nodes. Okay, the L means small. See, number of leaf nodes is L. Right, so if I'm giving you number of leaf nodes is 4, then you can calculate the number of nodes using this equation twice L minus 1. Okay, if I'm giving you the height of the tree, then you can use this formula. So, if you use this formula, then 2 plus 1, 3, 2 power 3, what is 2 power 3? Eight. 8, correct? So, 8 minus 1, 7. So, there are 7 number of nodes. So, to calculate the number of nodes, you have two formulas. Either I can give you the number of leaf nodes or I can tell you the height of the tree. So, based on the parameters, you can calculate the number of nodes. So, what is the condition here for full? It's right here. For full binary tree, it's two or none. Okay. And for complete condition, max two and moves towards left okay see towards left and what is the perfectly full or you can say just perfect binary tree two exact two okay exact two and leaf at same level so 
these three properties you always remember for full worn out for complete maximum two and skewed work left and for the perfect it means exact two okay and leaves will be at the same level okay so you just need to study yourself then only you will remember the conditions look okay let's move to the next step it's the degenerate or pathological tree so in this case it does not follow that it will have two and all it will have a ching, single child okay so this is not exactly like binary tree because for the binary tree it should be like two children maximum two children but in this type of tree it always have a single child and it can be either towards the left or the right side again based on the left and right side we can just say it's a skewed binary tree the name is still binary tree uh, but just that it actually has just single child for each node so two types can be either left skewed or the right skewed so if all the nodes are towards the left side then it's left skewed and if all the child these are two separate huh? don't think it's the same and this one is the right skew so a skewed binary tree is just a pathological tree in which either dominated by the left nodes or the right nodes and based on that it can be either left skewed binary tree or the right skewed binary tree okay So for the skewed binary tree, you don't just remember that this single child. Okay, is it clear? It's simple one. Then comes the balanced binary tree. Okay, so what is balanced binary tree? The difference between the left and the right subtree for each node is either 0 and 1. So this type of binary tree is also known as height balance. Remember in the, on the previous uh, trees, different types of binary trees, we saw that um, the height doesn't matter. Some some children has like, okay. Yeah. So in the normal one, I showed you like one, two, it can be anywhere, okay? So these are not height balance. We don't care about the levels. But in case of balance binary tree, the difference between the left and the right sub tree for each node should be either zero or one. And that's why it is known as height balance tree. Okay, and if you see an empty tree, that means just the root node, then root node you can also consider a tree, but it will be a height balance tree. Okay, root without any children, again at the same height. Okay, so height balance tree is log n where n is the number of nodes. So let me show you. See, for, for this what's the height for this tree for, for what's the height just think about this root node first and it's immediate to children okay okay root and it's two children what's the height one if yeah you, sorry, for this root, you have to consider both this. So, what's the height? 2 minus 1. Your left subtree is at height 2 and your right subtree height is 1. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. one right? So, for this node, difference is 1 minus 1, 0. For this node, there 
are no left and right subtree, so difference is again zero. Again, for this lift nails, difference is again zero. So in this tree, all heights, the difference between left and right subtree is zero or one. So it's a height balance tree. Okay, let, let me show here. So in this case, is it a height balance tree? Okay. Uh, I'm not giving any value, just it's mainly like height, right? You just check what's the uh, height for this node. Okay, I just give the first maybe to be easier for you. So what's the difference here from this node to this node? Left sub 3 and right sub 3 is 1, 2, 3 and 3 minus 1, correct? So difference is 2 here and for this node, difference is 1, uh, 2 minus 1 is 1, correct? For here, difference is 0. For this case also, difference is 0. For this case, difference is 1 minus 0 is 1. And for here, difference is 0. So, you can see for this particular root node, the difference is 2. That means this is not a height balance tree. Correct? Difference should be either 1 or 0. That's take for the height balance tree. Okay, now if I just remove this node, suppose this node is removed, then it's a height balance. And in this case, your difference will be 2 minus 1, 1. Okay. Is it clear the height balance? The difference between left subtree and the right subtree should be either 1 or 0, not more than that. Is that clear to everyone? Clear to everyone? So, how many trees, how many types of binary trees we have seen today? One is full binary tree, one is complete binary tree, complete. one is perfect binary tree, one is your disbalanced binary tree, okay. then your skewed binary trees, and the degenerate. This degenerate is I mean, skewed binary trees are just type of your degenerate or pathological trees. So, skewed can be just single child and it can be either towards the left or the right and based on the domination of left and right sub t it can be left skewed and the right skewed okay for a normal binary tree the condition is it it can have maximum of two children that's why it's binary so in case of full binary tree it's two or none for the complete binary tree, at max 2, like the normal binary tree definition, just that all the nodes will be uh, towards the left side. And for perfect binary tree, all nodes will have just two children. And all the leaf nodes will be at the same level. Okay. And for the degenerate type, it will have just single child. And based on that, this can be left and right skewed. And the balance one is just the difference between left and right children should be uh, 0 or 1. So it can have, a node can have maximum of 2, 0 or 1. So only the strict thing is in case of full, 2 or none. And for the perfect, 
it will have exactly two. So I'm just stop sharing and just take your attendance. So types of binary click here. Uh, I'll share the slides. Uh, it will be easier for you guys. Tomorrow we don't have class, so I guess this is your last class before your puja vacation. So happy puja to all of you. See you after puja vacation. So is it clear today? Okay, now turn my last thought. Yes, ma'am. Go share. Go see me. Busy. So, now I come back. Okay, okay. I'm ending the meeting. Yeah, it's going to end in two minutes. I guess. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Happy puja. Happy puja, ma'am. Thank you.